in today's time and age, it's as important to read and write text as it is to read and write data visualizations. So we are interested to empower many to be able to take data, to analyze this data and to visualize that data. I think that's incredibly important for those companies which want to stay at the cutting edge, for our governments which want to truly make use of the data and also for um, ultimately um, anyone in personal lives because as uh, we have more and more of our personal data available, be it banking statements or health records, um, we need to use that data wisely to um, uh, do better informed decision making in our personal life, not just in our professional lives. I always like to see that people fall in love with these maps of science and I believe these maps really open people's minds and hearts to the complexity, to the value, but also to the beauty of science. And by showing people our collective scholarly knowledge from above and showing them how it all interconnects and how the different areas of science are pushing and pulling on each other. And then using those maps to overlay expertise profiles, to overlay career trajectories, to overlay uh, trends and activity patterns of scientific and technology developments, I think is a unique uh, way to uh, get a better understanding of the dynamics in science, technology and innovation.